Hello everyone, it's Michaela Panda here, and I'm back with another RPG Maker uh, character sheet tutorial, but this time I'm going to do it in GIMP. And um, GIMP is another free program, but this one is like 10 times better than Microsoft Paint because it has layers, and that feature alone makes this whole process a lot easier. Um, you definitely don't have to use a character sheet template because uh, you can just set up the grid to however you want and that makes importing the characters so much easier. So the first thing we're going to do is um, create a new canvas. So go to File, New, and make sure that it is in landscape mode and that it is 384 by 256 pixels. Then you're going to open the advanced options and we want our background to be transparent so the fill width should be set to transparency. And here is our new canvas. And so now we're going to set up the grid. Now if you want these settings to be permanent, you're going to go to edit and then click preferences. Once the preferences are open, you just go to default grid and you can change everything here. And so the next time you open GIMP, um, whatever you set it to will become the default. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go to Image, Configure Grid, and if I do it this way, then it's only going to be like this for this picture that I'm using right now. So the spacing should be 32 pixels, and as long as that chain is connected, the width and the height will be the same. And so now we actually want to make our grid visible, so go to View, Show Grid, and it'll pop up. Um, I also like to add the snap to grid feature because it makes placing your characters on here a lot easier and more accurate. Speaking of characters, you're going to go to file and we're going to select open as layers and this is a very lovely tool because it opens their pictures as a current layer inside of the canvas that you're working on. Okay, there we go. And so now, it's snapped to the grid. You don't have to worry about misplacing something. I'm just gonna set it right there. And that's pretty much a basic step for what you do for the remaining eight characters on your character sheet. And now we are done. We have a full eight character character sheet and that took me about like a minute or so. Um, I like to have all of these characters on one layer, um, but that's just a personal preference for me. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit right click and then merge the layers and then click clipped to bottom layer and then merge and everything is on one layer and that's pretty much how you do this in GIMP it's a lot easier than Microsoft Paint um, and it takes like a fraction of the time there's no extra steps that you have to do. so in order to save this we're going to file and then export as and then just name it whatever you need Export. Um, I don't really change the default export settings for GIMP because you don't really need to, or I don't need to for this picture. And then you just export it. And now we are done. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I really hope that it helped you guys out. Um, you should definitely consider downloading GIMP if you haven't already, especially if Microsoft Paint is uh, your main. Um, program that you use. Uh, GIMP is a lot easier and as you can see it took a fraction of the time to create this character. And um, you know, like this video if you really enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Never give and and never be this sing songs us sing 
this is never give and I'll never be there.